I, I love reading books. So if every time I feel lost or I feel down, I'll, I'll pick up a book just to pick myself up again. So pick up anything that you can go to so that you're, you can find out how you are digesting this whole emotion thing. So um, I, I put down some tips. Yeah, Of course, there are many, many things that you can help emotion. I'm no, I'm no psychologist, Yeah, uh, although I aspire to be one. Uh, but these are some of the things that I find helpful for me to go through this emotional roller coaster. Okay, First is sleep. So actually, I found that um, sleep also has its uh, formula. Okay, uh, A, B, C of sleeping. Okay. What is A, B, C of sleeping? A is abstain. Abstain from all the sad news, shocking news, devices, iPhone, iPad, i whatever <laughs> devices are basically that that will keep you awake, that will stimulate your mind even further, that you make, make you worry even more. Abstain at least half an hour before your bedtime. So first you have to establish when you want to go to bed. If it's 11 o'clock, then by 10.30, all devices off, okay, including your TV, CNN news, the star, whatever, off. Okay, have to, um, what's the word? Um, just lock off, lock off from your brain. Okay, 30 minutes before your sleeping time. What is B? B is this. Uh, if you are like some of my friends who say, yo, Shaleen, I cannot read book. La. If I read book, la, within five minutes, I will fall asleep. And then you pick a book to read. La. Okay, but if you are not that type and you say, oh, the more I read, the more excited I get, I can't sleep. Then perhaps you want to put a notebook beside your bed. Yeah, put a notebook so that, if you're thinking, getting a lot of all these stimulant and ideas coming to, you know, my husband is one person that every time he sleeps, he will get up with more ideas. Eh, scary, eh? <laughs> So he, he will go to bed and then he will boom, jump up and say, ah, I thought of this. Ah, I think of that. <laughs> so sleeping sometimes just you know, help him think, you know, somehow, lah, I don't know how. So if you have a lot of thoughts in your mind, you keep a book like this just to jot down whatever you just, uh, this is your dumping ground, so to speak. You want to dump down whatever ideas come to you, just write it down and then close it and then go back to bed. C is for conditioning. What is conditioning? Conditioning yourself to only go into your bedroom or your bed for sleep. Yes. Meaning you don't... Uh, you know, you don't go through your feed of Facebook on your bed. Uh, you don't bring in your device, iPad, you know, type a blog or update things or laptop, you know, on your bed. Your bed is for sleeping, okay? No work. <laughs> no chatting with friends on WhatsApp. You know, no looking after news. No, you want to condition yourself. Why? Because when you do that, so you do all this uh, work, WhatsApp, whatever, outside of your bedroom, or if you don't have a separate bedroom, just away from your bed. Yeah, you choose a corner away from your bed so that you condition yourself or your wide mind to think that your bed is for sleeping. So every time you finish your devices, whatever that you have to do uh, on your devices, laptop or not, then you can close it, go to bed, and oh, bed is for sleeping. So every time you do that, by the time you are conditioned to sleep during that time, when you go to your bed, you will just fall asleep like that. You will not have difficulty, you know, uh, going to sleep. Uh, you won't toss and turn, think of this, worry that. Um, yeah, it will just be like this. Because why? Now your brain is starting to wire in the connection and say, oh, yeah, now is the time to sleep. So when I go to bed, it's sleeping time. So no thinking. Clock off. Yeah. Uh, sleep is very important. You need to have ample of sleep, six to eight hours. Not oversleep, but sufficient. Yeah, nutrient is another thing. So I take a lot of nutrient. For me, uh, this is our staple breakfast. Yeah, a bit of advertisement. Uh, protein, um, because it gives me very good nutrient. Hormone for my uh, amino acid, for my hormonal balance, so I don't go wet and cuckoo, right? Uh, uh, calcium uh, to, to, you know, give me a bit of uh, calming down effect. My mom is one person that she's very, very, um, how to say, stubborn about taking supplements. She said, ah, no need lah. You know, I'm healthy. I'm this, I'm that. I can run, I can eat, I can sleep. I can do all these things, you know, uh, 20 years ago. But then, uh, little did I know that every time she go to bed at night, uh, in the middle of the night, she will have to wake up to go for her uh, midnight uh, pee in the toilet. Yeah. So um, that kind of like interrupted her sleep. So lately, or rather last year, beginning of last year, she actually started to take more supplements calcium and B-complex uh, more regularly, right? 
So she finally listened to her daughter's nagging. Lah. So she's uh, more regularly at taking the supplement. And then just a few months ago, she told me that, hey, now I can sleep throughout the night. I don't have to wake up in the middle of the night to you know, go to toilet, my toilet busy. So that's really, really great. You know, you don't get, un- you will get uninterrupted sleep. So nutrients, I believe, uh, will help our overall well-being. So our emotion will also be, um, you know, more stable. Uh, I don't know whether you all remember when I used to go to school, public school last time, uh, we always hear this saying, right? Um, Badan yang sehat, minda yang minda cergas, right? So when your body receives the nutrient that it needs, your, your mind, your emotion, all will be uh, at a better state. 